Daisy cut it down to the top of the oh, square. Power again. That's power. Look at that. Gee, he has played just a magnificent game uh, for the Eastern Football League, along with Porter, Oakley, and uh, Rick Smith. And <coughs> he looked to waste a bit of time. He's very experienced, but. Uh, he decides to go into the centre of the ground there looking for Jason Wade. Wade's been in and out of it a bit today. <coughs> been off on and off the ground too, Bob. Yes, he has. Wade now decides to come across here towards our commentary position looking for Franken. Franken tried to take a one hand and couldn't do it. <laughs> in underneath there was good. Uh, played a pretty good game actually today uh, for Eastern. And the umpires hit it over the boundary line and uh, out of bounds. Been our best midfielder, but uh, I'd give our best to Rick Smith for four quarters. Oh, Bob. so would I. Okay, 27 minutes gone in the quarter. Franken in front takes the ball out of the out of the ruck. An awkward looking kick round the corner. Nevertheless, got there. Okay, Where's spinning back with his McFerrin. McFerrin uh, for Western went back there to Newman. Now Newman kept possession. Cut off, Bob. Newman coming there to Barker. Barker now got nowhere to go. Got the ball across there to uh, uh, Scar Mandaglia at the side. <laughs> 15 goals, 9, 99 for the Eastern Football League have beaten Western. 13 goals, 87. So a 12-point margin to the Eastern Football League. Well, they took 10 years of the of life off me, Bob, but uh, the East, thank God, now we've got the right to brag. Still undefeated since 94 and still, I think you'd have to say, the best Metropolitan League Without a doubt. in Victoria. Let's give you the goal kickers and uh, the better players. We had for Eastern Football League, Lachlan Oakley from the Mitcham Football Club with five, the highest goal kicker on the ground. Damien Franken from the Vermont Football Club with three. We had two to Todd Power from the Vermont Football Club and singles to Ash, oh, sorry, Daniel Adams, uh, Clint Donnelly, Paul Giannopoulos, uh, Liam Doughty and also Wade Porter. For the Western Region Football League, Cameron Wright from the West Footscray Club kick four. Armour Taleb kick two. We had Cameron Price from the St Albans Club kick two. I've missed one at the top. Adrian Newman from Port Colts kick three. And one each to two players in Robert Di Perosa and also uh, Jacob Bay or Bajia. Better players, Steve, for Eastern. Smith, Oakley, uh, Wade Porter, I think, was fantastic. Uh, Probably the two standouts to me, though, Bob, would be Rick Smith and uh, Wade Porter. And Heath Goodall would probably join those uh, three. I thought they were good for four quarters, and uh, they'd have to rate a mention. Well, certainly. Uh, for the uh, the Western Region Football League, Patton played uh, a good, long, hard game in the ruck all day and did quite well. The two Teller boys played well, I thought. Uh, Cameron Price uh, played well. Let's not forget Adrian Newman with his three goals. It was a good effort. Uh, DeRosa was certainly in it for the first half, but uh, probably died out a little bit... Uh, in the second half, uh, McFerrin probably all day uh, for the Western Region. Uh, all in all, look, a good game of footy, particularly uh, from about halfway through the third quarter, right through to the finish. It was anybody's game up until five minutes to go. And Eastern running out winners by 12 behinds. Oh, sorry, 12 points. Yeah, look, an amazing result. Uh, only played the one quarter of football, but a much better second half from the Eastern. And, uh, well... I wanted them to. I didn't expect them to. I wanted them to show what they were made of. And, uh, well, you'd, uh, just a bit of bad luck there to the Western boys because they were probably the better side for most of the day. But I uh, have to play four quarters, unfortunately, and uh, were unable to, to hold a rampant Eastern who have just come home with the proverbial wet sail and uh, a richly deserved uh, victory. So that's just about it from the Clayton Reserve. We've seen a fantastic interleague clash, Bob. It was tight. Right up until the end, uh, the Eastern, a fantastic comeback victory. We hope you can join us at the same time next week when our next for our next replay, which will feature, of course, solely Eastern Football League clubs. But until then, bye for now. Last, last uh, presentations underway for, uh, for the day. Um, just like to thank, firstly, everyone for coming out here today. We've seen some fantastic games right from uh, the under-18s to start up with, between the breed and uh, obviously this game. Uh, to the umpires, thanks very much for, uh, for their efforts. As I said in the last presentation, without their efforts, we wouldn't have a game today. So, well done, guys. To, uh, to the Western guys, uh, it's not really much more to say. Fantastic first three quarters. Uh, it just wasn't meant to be in the last quarter, but uh, never gave up. Uh, fantastic effort, but uh, well done for getting into the side. And uh, better luck next year. Well done, guys. Anyway. The Eastern guys, 
Don, who uh, just uh, somehow know how to uh, how to win, have won more uh, more than uh, they've lost over the years, and uh, a fantastic effort that last quarter. Uh, come back up with some face, so what well I need to put you away. Good work, William. Great work ethic from the uh, Eastern boys, they, they knew how to serve, they, they stuck to it, stuck to the gun, stuck to the team plan, and they saw them come out with a win of the station. A uh, big interest in the boys, uh, about six years ago, they the Eastern Premier League was taking the election of the time. Not to pretend I was down to that victory out there, but that's not an opportunity to come out for us to do it. So it's a good record of the boys in the midfield, they just took uh, a pretty last quarter, and uh, they've been very much to their players, it's a great effort. 